Hey guys, Rick with Rally Sport Direct here doing another episode of What's in the Box. Here we've got the Cusco engine and transmission mounts. We've got the box right here. Let's go ahead and open these up. All right. So pop this open here. I'm just gonna start removing everything uh, in this kit. Then we'll just go over them separately. All right, so first thing I wanted to show you guys was one of the engine mounts. Of course, this particular kit comes with two. But first thing I want to do is just give you guys a close-up view of this. So you can see the construction. Pretty decent welds here on the bottom. Really heavy duty. Uh, this is all steel. Um, I'm not sure exactly what type of steel, but it's nice and heavy. And then it is powder coated or painted black. Okay. All right, so you'll notice it's a two-piece construction. Uh, you've got the bottom piece here, which holds the bushings, and then you've got this top plate here. Now, one thing about these is they all come very loose from the factory. You can see these bolts are just loose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these off. Now, one thing to note is the fact that these do all come very loose from the factory, and so you do have to tighten them up uh, before you install them on your car. All right, this will take just a second. Okay, so now we've got our two pieces here. You saw how I took that off? You just separate like that. You've got your, this plate right here. You can see how thick that steel is. Okay, and then we've got our bushings here. Now these are actually a very, very hard rubber bushing. Um, most of the aftermarket kits you see are either running a polyurethane bushing um, or a spherical bearing or basically metal bushings is what they are. Um, but this actually just uses a very, very, very hard rubber bushing. Now, one thing I like about rubber is just its ability to absorb sound, vibration, harshness. Um, this particular one, of course, compared to say a polyurethane bushing, I'm guessing these are a little bit stiffer. Um, and so you will get some noise, harshness, and vibration that's being transferred through, actually a significant amount um, of that being transferred through because these are so stiff. This is really a, what you'd consider a, ver a race bushing, uh, something like that. They're very, very stiff. Um, but the benefits you get from having a bushing this stiff, uh, in my opinion, well outweighs any of the uh, negative side effects from it. So let's just move on. I just wanted to show you guys some of the welds again close up. I don't know if you guys can see that bushing there, but you can see that it is rubber. Okay. All right, now let's move on to the transmission mount. Got that right here. So again, very similar construction, two-piece construction. You've got the plate on top um, with the bushings here on the bottom. Uh, I'm not gonna take this one apart uh, just because again, it's the same thing. Same exact bushings that are used um, in the uh, engine mounts are used in the transmission mount as well. But I did wanna show you guys the base here, see that? And then the top. Again, just a very heavy duty mount. Some of the welds uh, you can see down here at the bottom. All right, now this does include instructions. And being that Cusco is a Japanese company, of course, these are all in Japanese, but let's go ahead and look at them anyway. Um, not only do they include instructions, but they also include these washers as well. I'm going to show those to you here in just a second. All right, so uh, all Japanese instructions doesn't do us a whole lot of good until you get a couple pages in um, and they give us a exploded view of the car. Uh, it basically just tells you where the bushings go or where the mounts go, I should say. And then you flip it over, uh, the transmission mount is directional, so make sure to pay attention to that. But then they just go over the, uh, the different plates that are found on your stock mounts that you will have to switch over to these, which isn't a problem. Uh, but they do go over that in here. And there's nothing on the back. So that's it for the, uh, the instructions. Now I wanted to show you guys these washers here. So this is, they include two washers. So I'm guessing that these go um, on the bottom side of the engine mount. So we've got our engine mount here. This is going to bolt down into the cross member, and then once it's through the cross member, we're gonna put this washer here on bottom, screw the nut on, and that should secure it very nicely. All right, so these engine mounts and transmission mounts are gonna be great for anybody looking to upgrade uh, their stock mounts. Again, being that these are more of a race type bushing, um, it would be recommended for someone who's either racing their car or doing very aggressive street driving, um, autocross, that kind of stuff. It's definitely worth the upgrade. Check it out. It's all the time we've got for you tonight, guys. Thanks for checking out What's in the Box. We'll see you next time.
RallySportDirect.com.